In a Kubla Cube project, there are multiple ways to display a site plan. By default, site plans are visible in both 2D and 3D views. But how can we control and adjust this visibility to suit our needs? Let's explore. To turn site plans on and off, you have two main options. First, click plans in the top menu and hover over the listed site plan. Then you can click hide to turn it off. And alternatively, you can click the eyeball icon next to a plan to switch the visibility on and off. When a site plan is turned on in the plans menu, you can then choose to display in either 2D or 3D. Okay, so in the display panel, which is here on the right hand side of your screen, you can see that we have this site plan visibility button and then multiple options. So you can select no site plans to turn them off completely and they won't show in 2D or 3D. Or you can choose to have all site plans turned on and to show in all the views. There we are. This toggle is also available in the pop out editing window for easy access. So if you're editing a feature or an element, you can then turn them on and off, which might be worth doing if the site plan is obscuring a view. So we just have that same button here. And we can turn that off and back on again. If you want to view site plans only in 2D, then go to site plan visibility and select site plans in 2D views. This will turn it off in the 3D view and we can switch to 2D and see it is visible. Likewise, selecting site plans in 3D views will disable the 2D view, but display it in the 3D view. Okay, so once you've chosen to display your site plans, you can control which surfaces they appear on. So your project is made up of three surfaces. We've got the proposed, the ground, and then the surrounding area around the model of your project. So to assign a site plan to different surfaces, go to the plans menu, hover over the listed site plan, and use the move down, or once you've moved it down, use the move up option to position where you'd like to see the site plans. So if we move down one. So there are three surface display options. First, all surfaces, which is what it's on currently. When the site plan is placed at the top of the list, above the proposed heading, it will show on all surfaces of the project. The second is that it will show on the ground and the surround. So when the site plan is moved down to sit below the proposed heading and above the ground, it will display on the ground and on the surround areas. So we can see it's now disappeared from the proposed area. Lastly, if we move it down one more time, it will just show on surround only. So outside of your topography or the model area. If you have multiple site plans or images in a project, you can choose to toggle them on or off or layer them as required. But if you want all plans to be visible in all three areas of the model, the plan higher in the list takes precedence and appears on top of the lower plans. However, this will cause a plan with colors like we've got here to obscure those below it. As you can see, the site plan is no longer visible, so you'll need to adjust the order to achieve the desired layering. You can see now the site plan over the top of the satellite image. Okay, another scenario you may encounter is where you want the site plan visible on all surfaces, but the satellite image visible only on the ground and the surrounding area. So excluding the proposed area. 
In this case, make sure that both plans are turned on in the plans menu. Then list the site plan above the proposed heading and the satellite image below it. So we leave that one where it is and we just move that one down. And there you can see that this arrangement provides the context of this, the site using the satellite image while allowing you to review the proposed cut and fill model. By using these simple steps, you can easily manage and customize how site plans are displayed in your project, whether in 2D, 3D, or across various surfaces. Now you're ready to take control of your project's site plan visibility. See you next time.